namaste kings and queens welcome back to my channel if you are new i'm intuitive flow this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising venus or wherever you have capricorn in your chart please keep in mind that this is general so please only take what resonates and leave the rest if you are wanting something personal just check the description box on how to connect with me all right now it is late cappy so we're gonna see what messages are out we're gonna start with my deck and then we'll go from there all right i pray that you all are doing well i pray that you all are taking care of yourself loving yourself honoring yourself and those around you all right kappa kappa <laughs> Somebody's in the sorority. Excuse me. But I meant Capricorn or Cappy. All right. So we got sun gazing. All right. So sun gazing is very significant. Getting your vitamin D at this time. Um, nurturing your cellular system. Some of you guys may be very much melanated. Um, waking up at 5 a.m. with the sun would benefit you all right better is not something you better is something oh i can't even get it out it's late y'all better is not something you wish it's something you become so i feel like you guys are picking up some new habits like really good habits to better yourself and then we have coming to terms with your situation relax release and relate Mm. so there's a situation you all are coming to terms with here we have never let them see you sweat cancer pisces scorpio you could be connecting with one or have that in your chart and then we have love yourself so much that they would need to find christ in order to find you ashe so you tapping in you tapping in a lot of you all are looking for your soulmate or you are seeking to attract a true divine partner someone that you're in alignment with here you could be connecting with this water sign you got angel number 222 all right good fortune abundance positive relations or relationships finding your soul's purpose Ashe. Mm -hmm. and then we have did you sage today close your eyes and connect with god yeah a lot of you guys are definitely definitely tapping in with the most high seeking your divine purpose here seeking to connect with your divine partner coming to terms with your situation where you are right now um, embracing where you are and who you are in this now space reality yeah it's 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 like this video i was watching the other day um yeah you got plant-based lifestyle some of you guys are going towards a plant-based lifestyle here and this is what you're you're currently um experiencing yeah you have god is my aunt perfection um, sorry, personification, cosmic balance, justice, and the symbol is the ostrich feather. So some of you guys may be coming across some feathers or an ostrich feather is very significant. Okay. But what I was going to say is a lot of us want to reach this certain goal or this certain peak in our life but we definitely have to love where we're at in the moment appreciating where we are for example if you are aspiring to be vegan or go plant-based um and you eat meat it's important not to criticize or scrutinize yourself for eating meat or even others because appreciating where you are right now is very important because the joy is in the journey so flow into 
becoming a vegan or flow into becoming a better person, flow into attracting your abundance and positive relationships, right? Let's see, what else for Capricorn? Capricorn. All right, you got Aquarius energy. So mm, something about being strategic, smart, innovative. What else for Capricorn? All right, yes, yeah, single. A lot of you guys are living that single life. You could be going more into, again, attracting abundant relationships or um, some sort of group setting with the Aquarius energy. Some of you guys could have a very, um, mm, no, I'm hearing some of you guys may have um, a water sign in Uranus. What else here? You got fire. Fire and desire. Some of you guys could be connecting with the fire sign. Or you're just very passionate about your single lifestyle or being single. I feel like you you flip the script here just with the Aquarius single and fire. It's like you make it look really good, but at the same time, you know that you want to be in a connection. You want to be in a partnership here. Yeah, we got sacrifice here at the bottom with Capricorn. Wow. You know, Saturn can sometimes speak about sacrifice. Or some of you guys may have Capricorn and Neptune. But what I was going to say is, you guys are embracing the single life, but you still am. You still would like to be in a relationship, though. That is what you're aspiring for. Let's get some more. You could be connecting with the fire sign, though. Maybe there's not a, a title yet. Or you could be in a relationship that is very um, unorthodox or untraditional. All right, we have the shadow is you, too. And you are a messenger. Speak your truth. So some of you guys may be being guided to speak your truth um, as it pertains to your shadow side. I could be connecting with a, a masculine Capricorn at this time, but it's important to, excuse me, express yourself. Mm -hmm. You got the high priestess, Pisces energy. I did mention Neptune. And you got the hermit and clear vision, Virgo energy. Wow, a lot of you guys are gaining a clear vision on your lifestyle, on your health. Definitely physical health or just what you you put in your body, um, how you take care of yourself, um, nurture yourself and others. There's something here about walking away from perfection or feeling like you need to do things in a perfect way. Yeah, because we don't live in a perfect world. So you're you're gaining a new vision here. Yeah, you're leaning more towards your intuition. All right. You're going with your gut feeling, how you feel about things right now. Mm -hmm, I'm paralleled. All right. No matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe. I feel like your intuition saves you or being guided by your instincts is very significant for you. Yeah, you have strength, Leo energy, because we did pick up on fire energy. So, yeah, let's see. Make sure my mic is still on. What else for Capricorn? Boundaries. You could be setting strict boundaries at this time or there's a need to set boundaries here. Capricorn, you have spy and you have prayer. 
Very interesting. Give me more here. We have miracle in the reverse. Believe in miracles here. Some of you guys may be praying for a miracle, but I feel like you're looking in the wrong direction here. For some of you guys, or somebody is spying on your, your miracles. You have new love coming in, which I picked up on. Believe in miracles. Some of you guys may feel as though you just may be single. Um, but I feel like in that very moment or in that energy is when new love embraces you. This could be somebody who's already watching you. All right, with the spy card. All right, we have Mira. Yeah, I just heard Mira, Mira on the wall. Who's the most beautiful of them all? Yeah, you're gorgeous, Capricorn. Yeah, abundance. You have abundance coming in here. The more you pray, the more you meditate, the more you connect with source. I'm also picking up here too with mirror under spy. Whoever this is spying on you or lurking or stalking, they want to be you or they're mirroring you. All right, I'm picking up on a copycat. Yeah, some sort of copycat here. Uh, we got government, black magic, and achievements. Mm -hmm. Someone, look, in New Beginning, somebody definitely has been plotting on your achievements and your abundance. But I feel like the more you stay prayed up, the stronger your abundance becomes, the stronger your gifts become, and the stronger pr your protection gets here. Mm. We got a fair under miracle in reverse now be aware somebody coming towards you is not already in a relationship or seeking to have some sort of affair with you here because we do have new love but miracles is in the reverse with affair nostalgia this could be a, a lover from your past or a blast from the past it's somebody who sees you going towards the future and they want to come towards you. This could be somebody that's in jail or is in some type of trouble with the feds. You put up boundaries with this person. And then we have twin flame. Hmm. Interesting, Capricorn. I'm just going to pull something on this miracle um, in the reverse. Okay, Source wants me to go into Spy here. Justice. Could be a Libra here spying on you. Somebody who wants justice. Somebody who wants things to be fair. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Is somebody who wants to connect with you or collaborate with you or work something out with you. This could also be somebody spying at work. And then we also... We got the justice system here. I don't know if you work in the justice system or legal system here. Yeah, five of swords. This is not to be trusted, whoever this is spying. This could be somebody plotting on your downfall here. So be aware, Capricorn. Again, this could be a Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a friend of me here with the five of swords. This could be somebody you work with. This could be somebody, yeah, plotting on you. Just period. They're plotting to steal or take something from you. Hmm. Somebody's always had it out for you. Or this is somebody who feels this way about you. They feel like you've always had it out for them or you're spying on them or mirroring them. Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Chariot. Hmm. Okay. Let's go on to um, Miracles in the Reverse. Something about... 
the very thing that you prayed would never happen actually happened. Somebody could have had an affair on you. Seven of Wands. Page of Swords are spying again. You could have blocked someone from spying. This could be an ex. Again, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands. There's conflict here around this situation. Conflict, drama, fighting, arguing. Queen of Pentacles, there you are. Yeah, uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. But I feel like you're left unscathed here. What is a fair? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody cheated or stepped out. And now you're single. Which single came out? Yeah, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. What's under here? Seven of Swords. Yep. Wow. Real slick shit here. We got the star. This could definitely be an Aquarius. Picking up on that. Picking up on Libra. Could just be an air sign, period. But this person definitely did betray you. They cheated, deceived you, lied. Um, they could be connecting with another air sign. They definitely left you wounded or they will. So the source is wanting you to know not to fret, not to worry. All right, keep praying because abundance is coming in. New love is coming in. Any miracles you may be worried about, I feel like these are all miracles from your past here. Yeah, king of swords, two of cups. Yeah, you could have a grown woman or man coming towards you who are not about the game. Very emotional too. Now remember you got goddess Ma'at here. So there's going to be cosmic balance coming in and justice coming in for you, okay? Everybody doesn't know everything. Everybody doesn't need to know everything here, Capricorn. And remain in your happy, joyful, and cheerful energy. You are a jubilant person. I can see you working hard and playing even harder. Gratitude is humility. All right, so stay in the spirit of gratitude. Some of y'all can be getting slim thick on them real quick. Then you also got Goddess Isis. All right, love, healing, fertility magic all right you guys could benefit from working with the moon with the goddess um isis and then we have play your favorite song here capricorn all right so that's what i got i pray it helps like the video i'll see you next time